is Fonzie, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. At what age did you get into music? Uh, 2016, so that makes me 18. 18. At 18, I started making music. What was the inspiration behind the music visual watch? Um, it was mainly Villa Ideas. Shout out to Villa, Sydney Villa. Um, she really came up with the idea of a the headless thing. I had an idea of like a dinner with a whole bunch of different iconic individuals, unique individuals, and you just see how our vision just collided of her with the headless and just her different aesthetics on like the specific details in the dinner. It just both came together and we made something dope happen. Yeti. What's your process for making music? y'all can see probably will see uh i really it's some beats that you'll hear and you instantly just catch a vibe and a vibe is vibration your vibration like connects with energy and you come up with words that fit fits for the energy but you first find the energy then you find the words and then you connect the two and then that's that's for like beats that you just instantly know for stuff that i gotta sit on I'll mumble track it and then work my way up until I find the right things to say. I don't know how to say it, when to say it. Yabba yabba, gotta bang. Do you have any upcoming projects or singles? Um, I actually have one single late coming up. And I'm gonna drop the visual before I drop it on anything. No snippets, no nothing. Straight video first. You heard it here first. Yiddy. Who are your biggest influences? Number one. I'm gonna have to say Future. Two, um, probably Kanye. And three, Young Thug. For right now. To make it short and sweet, Future, because, uh, know the real meaning probably explain it best, but he was in a situation where he, he recorded 200 songs on his one hard drive. Esco got locked up with it, and I guess police never gave it back to him, and he had to start like from scratch. And the fact to see where he is now starting from scratch is just, is a motivation. It's motivation and it's, I, I don't know. I just, I like underdogs, people who get the odds counted against them and just still make something out of themselves. So that's, that was a major, major thing that stuck out to me as far as influence. Um, Young Thug was the first, uh, he was the first person that made everybody who's like, I say like a young man or you know what I'm saying, young black man. If you weird, like he he made it okay. Like he was the first one to get scolded for it. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like that that's a he's like the Wayne of our generation. Or the Michael Jordan of the rap. Of my of to me. It's like, you know, him and future. Kanye, the fashion sense, um, definitely inspired by Kanye. Um, Yeezy. That was one of the first things I bought when I got some money. It was like a symbol to indicate that, like something that I wanted when I didn't have money, I'm able to get now. So it's like, that's just something to indicate that I shouldn't count anything out, like anything is possible. Uh, that big knob on the right. Do you have any hobbies or interests outside of music? Yes, my main one, as people may know, is fashion, creating clothes, creating never seen before things as far as art. I went to art school, middle school and high school, and um, a lot of people probably don't know that. But yeah, I went to art school for painting and um, being an artist. So definitely when I'm not in the studio, I am home painting it up um, or chilling with your girl. <laughs> you 
But um, yeah, so I like to do that on the side. I just like creating, man. Creating, expressing myself. It's like this. I'm gonna say this real quick just to end this, but music helped me express myself audio, like auditorially, if that's a word, I don't care. And art exp- helped me express myself visually. So it's like, I'm constantly expressing myself, hearing, seeing, so yeah. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? 10 years ago, I didn't see myself where I'm at today, but now that I'm here today and I see myself and I'm like more aware of myself and finding a lot out about myself, I feel like I'm able to predict, just like whether people, they take what's going on right now or what is ever's going on and predict it for a later date. Like, oh, it's an 80% chance of rain. A 90% chance that I'm gonna be successful as hell and just like doing my thing. I know I, I know how to get there and I feel like it's real close. So yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be where I wanna be in 10 years. Probably past where I wanna be in 10 years. It is. How can the city of Jacksonville improve itself? Be more open-minded. Only difference between the big debate between Atlanta and Duval, Atlanta open-minded. Because you have to realize when you hear a new sound, it's your first time hearing a new sound. So you're not always going to love your first time hearing, you know what I'm saying, something. Like, you have to accept it and be like, okay, well, this person is trying to make it. And if you want to support him, you support him. You got to be open-minded. You can't you just... I, we, we got a history of not being open-minded to change, open-minded to weirdness, open-minded to how people express themselves. So, you know, if somebody is not coming off as a trap king or, you know what I'm saying, uh, really in the trenches for real, they're gonna, they not going to get looked at just because that our, their, the minds have not been open to a new sound or this weird ass sound like but my main advocate for that argument is young thug because before thug we never heard nothing like thug and at first he was getting scolded for how he sound but then time goes on it's like hearing something new you listen to it more you end up loving it but people don't have the open-mindedness to listen to more than what they're hearing on instagram are there any artists from Jacksonville that you personally want to shout out? Shout out to Cook Up Fool. He's an engineer producer. Shout out to uh, Rose, engineer producer. Swag Boy. Mo- mostly mine is producers and uh, DJ Prince Patron. You gotta give a shout out to DJs. Matt Videos. Um, definitely shout out to Benz. Um, we're gonna spin the Benz. Spin the block on y'all ass. What was life like growing up? Life growing up for me was growing up in an art school, growing up on the west side of town. Shout out to my west side homie, Zone 4 Sweetwater. That's where I grew up. Um, shout out to the homie Scotty, Kaylin, Smokey. Um, Alejandro got the dope. <laughs> but yeah, um, west side, I love the west side, bro. Um, I used to walk everywhere and I chit like, observing i did a lot of observing at a young age like i noticed walking like i just appreciate i knew i'd appreciate a car when i had to walk a lot so it's like a lot of i used to be a deep thinker as a kid too and um i went to la villa and douglas anderson school of the arts middle school and high school i was able to express myself freely amongst other people who was able to express themselves in different ways like i had friends who was in dance girls girlfriends who was in dance um i've had friends who uh acted did drama friends who sang and, you know it, it was cool being around a lot of other people who expressed themselves like i did but just in a different way it was like we was all just celebrity stars to each other and just like that part of my life really boosted my confidence and um i went from chunky to slim like it was just a real positive influence growing up in the art school and i think that leads to who i am today and my parents being so supportive of my arts and who I am as a person that I'm able to continue to express myself in any way I feel. So I definitely love my childhood. I love my people. My people been there for me since day one, um, especially my mom. Shout out to my mom. But yeah, man, um, just creative and expressive ob- observation has been my childhood and growing up. What's some advice you would give to someone trying to get into music? 
my advice for someone trying to get into music is don't listen to anybody if you're going to do it. Uh, don't tell anybody you're about to do it. And uh, just see what happens. And uh, I, think, I think that's my advice is just probably not to take advice because looking for other people for confirmation isn't always the best way to get confirmation. Sometimes you just got to do things yourself and you confirming it through audio could be you hearing your confirmation through yourself. So, that's my advice. Yeah. as much as you can and of course chase what yourself desires like but I feel like you get as much time as you need to learn about your flesh or learn about yourself like it's two it's two of you it's like a mental and a physical and if you if you hear you have nothing but to learn learn what you like what you don't like Learn what you want to do for a living. Learn like the skill it takes to do that. But yeah, just just um, figure out yourself. And once you know yourself to the best of your ability, I feel like you'll be able to live your best life because you know you you know the best of yourself. So I feel like once you know yourself, if it's through dating someone, you find out a lot about yourself or what. But I feel like the people who are most happy are the people who knows themselves the most. What is something that you want people to know about you that they might not know? Something I want y'all to know about me that y'all might not know. Uh, a lot of things I do by myself. And I think what I want y'all to know is that y'all should do a lot of things by yourself too. Like y'all don't really need a lot of people to do things. And I'm not... Like, it may be a misconception that I might be bougie or act a certain way. Um, I'm not definitely far from that. Um, I just, uh, let me see. I know how to make cheap shit look good. A lot of shit that y'all see on my Instagram sometimes be thrift store shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody to have no conception about me based off of the things that's on me because if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing thrift store shit. What does that say about me? You know what I mean? But I don't want nobody to get no misconception about me. I'm not a mean guy. I'm not, like, I'm not a negative person. I don't be on no crazy type of thing. I'm, a, I'm just real chill. So a lot of people may not know that I'm chill. But yeah, I'm chill, weird, yeti, a lot of things. For sure, we had a dope-ass studio session, dope-ass interview. I mean, what more can I say? Yeti. <laughs> but nah. Uh, this is Ben Fonzie and you're watching 47 Films. Yiddy.